the reason for Prince Harry's hair loss, and it is not what you think. Prince Harry's receding hairline has been grabbing headlines ever since he married Meghan Markle last year, however, an expert believes his hair loss may be due to one important factor. Prince Harry and Meghan married in May last year, in a fairy tale like ceremony at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. The Duke of Sussex has been adjusting to married life with his new spouse, including quitting drinking and taking up meditation to be more like his spiritual wife, but reports have been quick to insist the Duke's hair loss is due to stress from his marriage his anxieties. Mr. Paul Oliver, a senior patient advisor from Vinci Hair Clinic, told Express Co. UK, genetics is the cause of Harry's hair loss, I believe stress can be a contributing factor in causing it to begin sooner but it would have occurred eventually. Prince Harry has male pattern baldness, androgenetic alopecia, which is one of the most common types of hair loss in men and women. This type of hair loss is most likely triggered by genes passed down from generations, Mr. Oliver said. Male pattern baldness, also known as androgenetic alopecia, is triggered by the genes passed from your father or either grandfather. Two brothers can take these genes from different members of the family so will have differing amounts of loss, this could be the case for William and Harry. Hair loss appears first in either the front hairline or crown. More than 95% of hair loss in men is caused by androgenetic alopecia. Hair loss is related to androgens, particularly an androgen called dendrotestosterone. Androgens are important for normal male sexual development before birth and during puberty. A variety of genetic and environmental factors play a role in causing androgenetic alopecia, but Mr. Oliver said Prince Harry's receding hairline most likely genetic because Prince William also experiences hair loss. Mr. Oliver added, his hair loss is appearing in the crown area first rather than the front. The crown is showing signs of thinning and is gradually opening up. Without treatment, this will eventually work its way forward. He is at a stage where he could strengthen even halt the loss with treatments. A hair transplant may be the only cure for Prince Harry if his hair loss reaches a more advanced stage, Mr. Oliver said. He added, if they treat it soon enough, there are several methods to slow down and even stop further hair loss such as finasteride, maxogen, containing minoxidil, laser light therapy, plasma-rich platelet sessions, PRP, or mesotherapy details. If the loss has reached a more advanced stage, then a hair transplant may be the only effective option for replacing the lost hair. On the plus side, Prince Harry's hairline will recede more slowly than his brother William, Mr. Oliver said. He said, in time he might, but looking at the stages of loss currently for them both, Harry looks as if his loss will progress more slowly than William's did.